Yo, what is up guys? This is Nova Dragonite and welcome back to another video. This video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to unbreak your 3DS and basically set up your custom firmware. And uh, first of all, if you guys find this video helpful, please go ahead and subscribe, leave a like, and also go in the comments and let everyone know that it worked for you. <clears throat> so first off, I'm gonna go from like what happened to me which is why my 3ds got bricked so what i did was i was trying to set up god mode 9 and it didn't want to set up so i thought i did something wrong like before but i don't think i did and basically i formatted my sd card to try to fix it and i was going to restart and when i did that i couldn't boot up my ds because it got bricked and if that got, if that happened to you guys, then just keep watching the video. But I'm going to tell you what you guys need. What you need to do is go to this video from Pence. Go to this video and watch the whole thing. You're going to want to download these files that I'm going to leave in the description. You want to download this whole pack. It's a starter pack for, for the um, custom firmware. And download this. Have this ready. And yeah, I think that's it. So basically what you want to do is you're going to want to take out your SD card out of your brick 3DS. And you're going to want to format it on here on your computer. And once you format it, you're going to want to get these files you download. Oh yeah, also make sure you back up the main files you had. And by that, I mean back up the files you had before you even started getting custom firmware. You want to make sure you back up that, put it on your computer, and then save it. But yeah, you're going to want to get your SD card, put it in your computer, and then drag all of these files right here that you see right onto the SD card. Just drag it on there. That's it. Once you do that, you're going to want to take the SD card back out of your computer, put it in your 3DS, and I'm going to show you the screen that's going to happen once you do all that. But you're going to want to put the SD card into your DS. And then instead of it turning blue and then turning right back off, this shouldn't happen. You want to hold select and hold the power button. And then once that happens, you should get this. It should say Luma 3DS and all of that, which basically means that it's unbricked. So, yeah, if you see this, you know, your DS is unbricked. You're going to want to check that and check that. And then press start to save your settings. And then it's going to reboot. And then it should turn back on. And it should have your 3DS unbricked. Now, that's literally all you have to do. And I want you to watch the video that I was talking about. I'm going to put that in the description, the Pence video. I want you to watch that. I want you to watch the whole thing. So that way you know what to do whenever you get on something you don't know what to do on. And once you get that started up, yeah, you just want to watch it. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. But, yeah. Watch that. Do what you got to do. And your DS should be ready and everything. Oh, yeah, and the files on there, those are like the main files for the custom firmware. So when you turn your DS back on, I think it should have like all of those little folders that you're, that you're supposed to have and stuff. I don't know, but like FBI and all of that, it should be on here by default. The Luma 3DS and all of that, it should be on here. You might have to download it. Not download it, but um, actually, I think this is going to be on here. I forgot. But yeah, you're going to want to leave off of this. Go to the Pence video and find off. Bro, I cannot talk anymore. I've been doing this for so long. I've been like redoing this recording. But you're going to want to find what you um are on, what you're stuck on. Go to the Pence video, find it, and basically just watch from there. And then set up your DS. And then boom, it should be modded. You should have it done. And yeah, you don't even have to download all those files either because they're right here. All the files at the beginning of that video, you don't have to download any of them. And that's how you get your custom firmware back on and unboot, unboot, 
on a breaker 3ds i need to go to sleep i've been trying to do this forever and yeah so if you guys found that video helpful go ahead and subscribe and like and leave a comment and yeah that's all you gotta do hope this helped and i will see you guys in the next video